BlizzCon got cancelled! Yeah, so was it like planned to be a thing and then they cancelled it or they just never planned it at all? Like, how's that work? Well, it's a bit of a plausible deniability kind of scenario here because like, ever since the quarantine they went two years without it, that broke the tradition. Um, now, I, they did a 2023 one and they did a 2022 one, but like, they kind of implied, I think, a while ago that they weren't gonna do it a yearly thing. I still think from my end that this is a very clear sign of weakness. I don't know how you would feel about it. It is a little odd. I wonder um, why they decided not to do it. We got a statement right here. Well, how much cost it is. Of course, the that reason they why they didn't do it is not going to be in the statement, but I might as well really give them a chance, you know? After careful consideration over the last year, we at Blizzard made the decision to not hold BlizzCon 2024. The decision was not taken lightly as BlizzCon remains a very special event for all of us. We know many of you look forward to it. While we are approaching this year differently and we have explored uh, different events formats in the past, rest assured that we are just as excited to bring BlizzCon back in future years. So let's see here. Over the next few months, we are going to be sharing more details about our launches coming this year, including World of Warcraft, The World Within, and Diablo 4's first expansion, Vessel of Hatred. To celebrate these upcoming releases and to bring our communities together in new special ways, we are going to do some exciting plans for other industry trade shows. Okay, so they are going to other people's conferences, like Gamescom. Where, where is Gamescom? I never heard of that one. E3 went yeah, post. I got no idea. So, like, there's no E3 anymore. So, yeah, I guess they got to go there. And they are also going to hold an Overwatch Championship, rest in peace, and uh, DreamHack Stockholm. I, I like that they chose Stockholm. That's a, that's a really good analogy for, for the company right there. And we'll be thrilled to plan in multiple global in-person events. Okay, that seems cool. To commemorate the 30th anniversary of Warcraft, okay? This right here is the weird part about it. It's the 30th anniversary of Warcraft. It is the 20th anniversary of World of Warcraft. And we're getting no BlizzCon. Like, if there's a bigger sign of weakness than that, I, I don't even want to know. I, like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, it's strange to me. I have a hard time imagining that uh, long term they don't make money off BlizzCons, but I bet in the short term they just see it as this cost us like $20 million and made no money. But I just wonder, like, all the guilds that meet up there and stuff, like, that makes them money in very, very weird ways. I mean, the ticket sales and the merchandise and all that, he's gonna make a decent amount of money. I don't know if he's gonna pay for the thing, because renting a, a, a whole venue in LA has gonna be really super expensive, but... Like, I don't think, like... To me, BlizzCon has always been a marketing tool, and what this means, from my point of view, is they got nothing to sell. Like, they did yeah. like... I made fun of this when this happened, and... I think I am being proven right here. Why would you announce three expansions in a row before they come out? Are you dumb? You run out of announcements for like six years. What are you gonna do now? Like, what do you, are they gonna announce in BlizzCon? They're gonna be like, we present to you the expansion we presented to you a year ago. Like, like what, what do they even do at that point? Uh, Overwatch is dead, StarCraft is dead, Diablo is getting one expansion. I guess that's the only thing they could possibly announce. Yeah, like, I, I feel like that's the main reason they are not going to do anything this year. They kind of run out of stuff. I knew a lot of people who used to go there all the time. I've never gone to a BlizzCon, but I have a lot of friends that used to go uh, pretty religiously. It was like the, one of those MLM, you know, those pyramid scheme cults when they do the, the pep talks and stuff and like everybody has to go. Like everybody used to go there. They were see lots of it. And like those people are going to be really, really upset. It's one of the few times of the year that people get outside their homes. And now we lost it. <laughs> they are saying they are moving to an extra to a strategy of live streaming stuff, kind of like Nintendo when they left E3, that, that kind of deal. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Blizzard has never been really good at announcing stuff, let, let's be honest. Yeah, they used to be like super long ago, like I was watching uh, the BlizzCon, uh, I think it was BlizzCon. But they had a 2004 uh, presentation, I believe it was at one of the early BlizzCon, about a BWL and like game balance for. Yeah. Yeah, and it like the, it was like I don't know if it was a dev, but it was somebody talking about like how they designed BWL and their intentions for the game, and he was actually like talking about people wanting it to be hard for like no reason. He's like the devs want like we want you guys to kill the bosses and get the loot. That's like the whole point of the dungeons. We want you to kill our babies. Yeah, that was uh, Jeff Kaplan. 
Jeff Kaplan was a, a, uh, a huge asset to WoW. They wasted his talent on Overwatch. Then that's what we got. That guy was like the, uh, the, the angel of Vanilla. He designed TVC on his own, basically. Everybody left. All the OG people left by TVC. We really miss Jeff. So crazy. Jeff is a good example of this whole thing, right? Because Jeff left uh, before Overwatch 2 came out because he didn't have he didn't want to have his name pegged to this thing. <laughs> like who the who do they <laughs> got left? They got Metzen now, I guess Metzen could do an announcement, but I think all the personalities that you would have make an announcement what now, like they are kinda gone. What do we got? Agren? Okay, we're gonna have Agren on stage now, I guess. That's the last thing we got. Yeah, I wonder, uh, has he given any like announcements like that? He might be pretty good at it. But uh sure that they're not as free to announce like they used to. Like the old the old presentations felt so much more real and not like corporate speak. All the modern stuff's like corporate speak. Well it's because they got some sustenance behind it, right? Like how do you like not have to mask yourself in corporate speak when you after making fun of phone games like a year before you you make a phone game for Diablo? Like as much as people made fun of the or the I forgot the guy that was presenting it, like what answer do you have to that? Like, you know you're gonna look bad. Like, I bet you, I bet you, like, they, they knew that before they went ahead. And yeah, like, they are probably trying to save a ridicule, uh, ridicule here. Like, they got nothing to announce, really. Like, like what I said, like, it, this makes them look super stupid because they announced the three expansions that follow. So, are they gonna do, like, a presentation of, of the World Within that they already presented? Is that what's gonna happen? I wonder how retail players feel about expansions. I remember they felt expansions felt very magical back in the day. I wonder if it still feels that way to retail players. Well, I or know so play, many whatever. people that only play retail like the first two months of an expansion and never see it again, and they fall for it every time. So I think they are still kind of magical. <laughs> hilarious. Good for them that they uh, can enjoy the start. Yeah, I don't know why, like... I guess the new classes or the new races. Oh, and so many people wanted to roll a drag tier, and I'm like, why? Like, that's enough for some people, I guess. You, you ain't gonna catch me paying a hundred bucks to do that. Oh yeah, it's expensive. They got my ass, dude. I tried some <laughs> retails, like 120 bucks to get everything all set up. So you funny. got it even worse because you started doing Mythic Plus. You actually believed it. Like most people just level up a character mm -hmm. and give up. <laughs> they hit the first dungeon, they think it's hard, and they give up instantly. That's what retail in a nutshell right now. Yeah, definitely. I think plus way harder than anything in class. Absolutely. Like, I don't want to preserve the illusion right now. Like, I am a terrible player. I couldn't. I am. I am scared of Cataclysm, guys. I think Cataclysm is gonna kick my butt. I'm gonna play a tank in Cataclysm. Tanking in Cataclysm is not easy. I don't know. Do Do you fear Cataclysm? Do you fear the difficulty? I'm probably not there? gonna play it. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I probably won't play it. Though. Maybe I'd play it if the people I'm doing sod with end up playing it, but otherwise, probably not. Yeah, I don't want to do the leveling stuff again. I'm sure they're going to listen to their audience and they'll 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 make it hard and most guilds will just stop raiding and the population will crash really fast all over again, I think. Eh, hey, I like at least in Cataclysm on private servers which are very hard, people are still happy to play it. Like I do think that they are gonna lose like half the Rato Elite Screen people. Like the question is it gonna be are they gonna be able to gain a new player base that isn't for Rato the Lich King because those people are gonna check out the first minute they, they step into Conclave or the four wins, okay? When they tell them there's two tank swaps and like three jumps, they are gonna give up. I don't know what's gonna happen then. <laughs> oh, bro, the Conclave of the, four, of the four wins, you come from Rato the Lich King where like you just right click the boss and it dies and then you go to that thing and you got a tank swap and you gotta move from one boss to the other, one guy messes it up, everybody dies, there's four bosses in the first pool, God help your soul, man. Can't help your soul. Cataclysm is, is gonna destroy a lot of egos. 